Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Kelvin here. In this video, I will give a quick review on Stash Away. For those who are unaware, you might ask, what is Stash Away? Is it the next new stock? Can you choose them? Have you ever wanted to invest but you scared scared you lose money? Or maybe you have no time to research about stocks because you are busy feeding your enemies in the LOL. But at the same time, you want to grow your money and become rich? This bad boy can help you invest and grow your money like a pro. All jokes aside, in this video, I will show you all the features of Stash Away, like what are their fees, how do they help you invest, whether your money are safe, and Stash Away won't run away with your money. Then finally, I will tell you what I like and what I don't like about Stash Away. That's a lot to talk about, so let's start right now. Stash Away was founded in Singapore in 2016 and was the first robot advisor to get a full capital market service license from MAS. The founders are from Salora, an e-commerce platform, Nomura, a finance holding company. So needless to say, they have experience in taking your money. Just joking, uh, if anything, it shows you that the founders are experts in the finance sector and have experience managing companies. Here's a few more Angkat Bolas. In 2018, Stash Away was named the most mature retail robot advisor in Singapore. First player to obtain a digital investment management license from Securities Commission in Malaysia. The only digital wealth manager to be awarded a technology pioneer by World Economic Forum in 2020. The awards are a lot more than this, but I won't bore you with all of them. All I can say is, if Stash Away is our neighbor, our mom will be like, Our neighbor Stash Away got full marks in exam again. Why can't you be as good as him? So now that we know, Stash Away is definitely not your normal play play only robot advisor. Let's look at how Stash Away invests for you. Traditionally, portfolios are optimized using something called modern portfolio theory. It is just trying to maximize the portfolio returns based on a specific level of risk. So if you want the lowest risk, it will invest in the safest assets like bonds. If you want the highest risk, you will invest in stocks. Stash Away takes one step further. They use a methodology called Economic Regime Based Asset Allocation, which sounds super cheap. It is just Modern Portfolio Theory 2.0, where it also monitors the market cycles and helps you to manage your portfolios accordingly. So let's say, if the market is on a super bull run, it will change to a more aggressive portfolio to help you get the highest return possible. Or if the market is going down, it will invest in more safer stuff to preserve your capital and still give you its number returns. For normal investing, Stash Away has three different portfolios. The first portfolio is the general investing portfolio. You have core portfolio, which is safer but lower return, and higher risk portfolio, which is higher risk but higher reward. Think of core portfolio like those three you buy when you write when you are a kid. They are super safe and you won't fall down unless you do something stupid. Then higher risk portfolio is like riding a two wheel bike on the road. You can go fast, but you might get into an accident if you are not careful. Once you select the risk exposure, you can then choose how much risk you want to take. Do you want to be super safe? If you want to be super safe, then you can choose a 6.5% risk index. There's only a small chance that you will lose more than 6.5%. Or if you want to take on more risk, you can choose 22% risk index to get a higher return. But there will be a small chance that you will lose more than 22%. When you have chosen your risk index, Stash Away will tell you what you will be investing in. Like with the 22% risk index, I will have 42% in equity sectors. Then in the category, I can see that I will own US Healthcare ETF, US Small Cap ETF, and US Consumer Discretionary ETF. Even though I don't really know specifically what are those ETF, I know that if my friend asks me what I'm investing in, I can just tell him, oh, you know lah, just a bunch of US companies here and there. And at the same time, I can feel safe in the hands of Stash Away. So that's for general investing portfolio. Next, you have goal-based investing like planning for retirement, buying a house, wedding with your bee, and so on. And depending on the goals, Stash Away will help you decide on the risk you have to take, so you don't overinvest and lose all your money before the wedding like this guy. And just in case you are wondering, thankfully his wife did not run away. For general investing and goal-based investing, there's no minimum amount to invest. You can invest the $2 and you got from your stingy auntie during Chinese New Year. The third portfolio is income portfolio. In this portfolio, you will invest in bonds, dividend stocks and REITs, which will all pay you dividends every now and then. Stash Away estimates the income to be around 3.75%. The one thing I like about this portfolio is that they will pay you as soon as the dividend is paid out. The only downside of this portfolio is that you will need to invest $10,000. That makes sense because let's say if you invest $1 and the return is 3.75%, they can't pay you 0.00375 cents ma, so you need a larger amount. For all these three portfolios, you can use either cash or SRS to invest. 
Just in case you do not know, Singapore has this SRS thing where you can contribute money to it to save on taxes. But after contributing your money to SRS, your money will sit in debt and do nothing like a lazy bum bum. So instead, you can invest your money into a stash away and let it grow. Next, let's talk about the fees for these three portfolios because if the fees are too high, you won't be the one farting. Instead, it's the other guy that will fart. Thankfully, the fees are quite reasonable. If you invest less than $25,000, your annual fee will be 0.8%. And the more you invest, the lower your fees will become. And yes, this holds true most of the time. Things are cheaper for rich people. So you better get rich soon if you want cheap stuff. Besides normal investing portfolios, Stash Away also has something called Stash Away Simple. This is just a simple high interest savings account. They estimate the return to be around 1.4% per year, which is much higher than all those self-declared high interest savings accounts, but give a super low interest rate. They are able to give a higher interest rate because they invest their money into two funds, Lion Global Money Market Fund and Enhanced Liquidity Fund, which is actually the same kind of funds where other high interest savings accounts like SAFE, Endowers and Grab are investing in. There's a 0.23% fee but it's already included in the 1.4% return. There's no minimum amount you need to invest and you can deposit and withdraw anytime you want. So those were the stuff you can invest with stash away. With that being said, let's answer a very important question, which is, is your money safe in stash away? The answer is yes, because your money is kept in a separate bank account from their money. Even if the company grows bankrupt, your money won't be affected. This is similar for all robot advisors and even brokers. One caveat though, if stash away really bankrupt, you will have to liquidate all your investments. If your investments have went up, great. But if your investments have went down, instead, Wah, wah. Too bad. In 2020, Smartly, another robot advisor closed down due to competitions and their users had to liquidate to get back their money. By the way, if you are interested to sign up the Satchel Way, I have an exclusive deal with them. If you sign up using the link down below, you can get up to 50% off your Satchel Way fees for the first 6 months up to 50k invested. So what are the things I like about Satchel Way? First, it is very easy to get started. You just need to sign up, choose how you want to invest, your risk index, choose how you want to fund your account, and you are done. So simple. You don't even need to spend hours and hours just to research about stocks, leaving you with more time to watch YouTube and play Genshin Impact. Second, you can invest your SRS money in Stash Away, which is incredibly good. As far as I know, only Endowers, Money Owl, and Stash Away has this feature. With this, you can save on taxes and get a much higher return on your SRS money. Third, low fees. Traditionally, if you need someone else to manage your money for you, you have to pay him 1% or even more. But even after paying the fund manager so much money, he may not able to deliver a good return. Most fund managers were found to underperform a simple S&P 500 over the long term. But now, with a robot advisor, not only will you be able to save on fees, but you can also have a much better chance of achieving the market's return, or even beating the market itself. With that being said, let's look at the things which I don't like about Stash Away. First, Stash Away doesn't allow you to invest with your CPF money, while the competitor and ours allows you to do so. However, with Stash Away being one of the most used robot advisors in Singapore, I think that it will just be a matter of time before you can invest in CPF using Stash Away. Second, when you invest through Stash Away, you can only invest in ETFs. You can't even choose what stocks and ETFs you want to invest in. Everything is chosen for you automatically. You want to invest in Tesla? Stash Away will be like, we don't do that here. You want to invest in Bitcoin? There's no such thing. Because of this, you'll be like Squidward watching Tesla and Bitcoin going up 10% every other day while your Stash Away portfolio only goes up 1%. But that's what you get when you rely on a robot advisor to help you to invest. Third, when you invest with a robot advisor, you will never learn how to invest. It's like learning how to swim by reading a book. You know all the theories and stuff, but your body doesn't know how to do it. This may not be a big stuff if you only want average returns, which is actually good enough for most people. Even Warren Buffett recommends people to invest in S&P 500, which only delivers 10% return on average. But if you want to achieve more than that, you have to learn about investing yourself and not rely on a robot advisor. So that was a good review on Stash Away. Hopefully it helps you out. Like, share and subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every Monday and sometimes Friday.